Okay, Jeff, the sunshine is here, but we it are going to have some uh, windy conditions yeah. too. It, it does look like it uh, could get uh, certainly very gusty, especially across the hilltops here uh, throughout the Bay Area, 50 plus miles per hour. And whenever we have that wind gusting up, it always brings back wildfire fears for us in the Bay Area. I wanted you to see tonight the fire danger rating and where we're going to be is between the low to moderate range. So thankfully not the high or too extreme. And there's some important reasons why. So come on over here with me. We're going to head into the forest, so to speak tonight. And really what we've been seeing over the past couple of months is paramount in terms of helping us out with this current fire danger. Now, the first thing as this wind starts to move in through tomorrow with those gusts of 50 plus miles per hour that we're tracking is the humidity. It's going to be right around the 30% range, so not in the single digits, which is the most dangerous it can get when it gets in the single digits. Uh, so that's a little bit of good news on that front. The second thing which we are so thankful for is that rain fall we had in February 4 to 14 inches out here across the Bay Area and all of that moisture right now is sitting in the vegetation which is helping us out. Now it doesn't mean that a fire still can't get started uh, but with the fire danger being elevated instead of extreme uh, firefighters would have a much easier time getting any fires put out. Let's show you more details on that microclimate forecast of what we can expect when it comes to that wind and here it is as we head through tomorrow uh, two different weather systems really joining together to bring in these gusty winds. We have high pressure across the Pacific that's producing the sunshine. Also some of that drier air. But the second thing that's really important to getting this wind is this low pressure that's digging in across the southwest. When you have these two weather systems just like this, it's a classic scenario to get in on that gusty weather because air flows from high pressure to low pressure and weather. So it creates that vacuum effect and is going to pull it right across Northern California. So gusty winds in the works here for us as we head through the next 24 hours. I do see as we head through about 1130 tonight, winds coming out of the north and the east, 15 to about 30 for the lower elevations. Some of the mountains in that uh, red color up to about 30 to 40. Then as we head through tomorrow, it's going to be the gustiest on Thursday. Strong northeasterly winds, uh, 15 to 35 for lower elevations. But look at the mountains, especially in the North Bay. We could get gusts of 40 to 50. Also some strong gusts in the East Bay Mountains and right there at the coastline. We'll stay with those gusts gusty winds all the way through Thursday night, and then we should start to see that wind coming on down as we head into Friday's forecast. Temperatures as we started off through tomorrow morning going to be a mix here with 40s to 50s as the wind increases. That'll put us here to 52 in San Francisco, the East Bay at 49. Daytime highs for tomorrow warming up with that dry wind. 70 in Santa Rosa, 70 Concord, low 70 San Jose to Morgan Hill, even 69 there in San Francisco. We will eventually see those numbers drop by next week into the the 60s with eventually the chance of maybe some rain by next Friday and Saturday. But as far as that seven day forecast goes, once we get over the wind uh, on Thursday, it should start to taper off on Friday's forecast. And then we are looking at sunny weather, calmer conditions this weekend, and that will be so enjoyable. So, uh, so glad we got that rain in February because that no doubt is helping out that immediate fire danger uh, quite a bit here throughout the Bay Area. For sure. It's going to be a beautiful week ahead. It okay, will be. Thanks, Jeff. You got it.